Hey, get all your NHL playoff action at Sports Interaction. If you're looking for action and interaction and sports, Sports Interaction. It's in the name. Exactly. Before the game starts, live and in play, or, you know, betting on how your favorite player will perform. Canada plays at SIA, doing it right since 1997. 1997. Sorry, 97. I, I get the read, too. Okay, with the most competitive odds, Sports Interaction makes it easy to deposit, play, and cash out. Head over to sportsinteraction.com slash SDPN. That's right. We have a new landing page. That's oh! sportsinteraction.com slash SDPN. 19 plus, play responsibly. Lastly on this series, I do, and I meant to actually hit this. I don't know why I went right to the Rangers after you can bet that, but I meant to start with the Oilers. love that series. Oilers absolutely gutsy performance against LA. Um, obviously, they had no Darnell Nurse. Mm-hmm. Kane with another two. He's got seven goals this series. Yeah. Um, they're going to game seven. That was, to me, that was Connor McDavid at his absolute best. And the only reason I don't include Leon Dreisaitl in that is because he literally was hobbling around and still played great. Mm-hmm. Yep. And, uh, you know, we complain about that Alex Kalorn hold on Austin Matthews. Ooh. Archer Kaliev, uh, like he's playing threes eliminator in shell, just completely obliterates. It was, it was accidental. Puckless Connor McDavid. It was accidental. Jesse, stop it. It was accidental. Jesse, they're stop both, it. They were both going across the middle of the ice. It was no. accidental. They, he, didn't know, he didn't see Connor McDavid there. Jesse, you stop it. Was accidental. It. I you're, believe him. Right now, you're at LA King's plant. Yeah, you're a secret so, agent. So, whatever. So, whatever. When did Bergevin get to you? <laughs> I got I got to complain about the game. Uh the the fi- the game winning goal, McDavid to Drysaddle, the Tyson Berry with a wrist shot that Jonathan Quick should stop 10 out of 10 times. Ooh, yeah. How dare you cost the ga- he cost the Kings the game with 3 minutes to go by allowing a Tyson Berry wrister to go past his blocker. That's un- that's inexcusable. Do you go to Cal Peterson for game no, 7? No. You could never. <laughs> We'll talk. Well, we'll get to Minnesota doing nonsense like that. Well, why don't we get to Minnesota but, doing nonsense? Why did they go? Why did they go with Cam Talbot over Mark Andre Fleury? Mark Andre Fleury was. Listen, I know he hasn't been great in the playoffs, but he was nine and one when he got there. Yeah, guys, guys, what are you doing? You're overthinking it. You're way overthinking it. And I don't understand how two different teams and two different coaches make that mistake in back to back years. Yeah, can you remind people what happened last year? Well, the Vegas Golden Knights went to Robin Leonard. Um. After well, didn't they flip flop several times? Wasn't it like Flurry Leonard, Flurry Leonard, and and Flurry had the best statistical season of his career, I think, and and also won the Vesna, and he was great. He did cost them Game Three with a misplay behind the net in a game where he was otherwise great. Um, and it's not like Leonard was bad, but I mean, uh, depending on who's in net, it does change your style even a little bit. Mm-hmm. I I <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what the point of that is. And if I'm Bill Guerin, I I never need to shave again because I pulled out all my hair from the root. Mm-hmm. I just I paid all of that for Marc Andre Fleury for you to play Cam Talbot, Dean. What the fuck? Well, do you not think like Bill Guerin? If he finds that out, he can tell Dean Dean Evison. You're not actually. I mean, he can try. He can certainly try. And who knows? Maybe he was in on the decision. Maybe he approved of it. But I don't. Uh, that's a tough one. And now, uh, the funny angle of all this. I'm not. <laughs> is gonna, there a funny angle? There is. I'm not going to bask in the Minnesota Wild being eliminated. I don't hate them. Chuck Fletcher's gone. <laughs> he is. It's gone. So you now you hate the Flyers. <laughs> You can't hate the Flyers. They're so bad. You got to feel bad for their fans. I feel bad for their friend, uh, their fans. Every mistake Chuck Fletcher makes is funny. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Fair enough. I'm sorry. Okay. No, I, feel fair. I think that's about fair. It. I think that's fair. It's in the same way that I'm going to enjoy those donuts. I'm going to be like, I shouldn't be having this. Yeah. But it's so good. Yeah. Um, I don't remember where I was going with that. Oh, uh, the Chicago Blackhawks. Because of the Minnesota Wild losing, do not have a first round pick. Hmm. They traded their own for Seth Joneses. <laughs> oh, no. And the first round pick that Minnesota gave them was conditional. Because Minnesota doesn't advance, it's a second. Wow. Oh, good move by Garrett, honestly. Uh yeah. So I'm I'm <laughs> man, we we won't get into it now but the Minnesota Wild are a very interesting offseason story. Kevin Fiala 
didn't show up in the playoffs. He had an unbelievable regular season, and he didn't show up at all in the playoffs in this series. And now he needs a new contract. And, and what do you give him? You're, they don't have the cap space to give him anything he'd get on the free market. I'm That's telling you, crazy. I'm telling you, Fiala's going to be in Philly. Yeah. Fiala? Yeah. Oh, Chuck Fletcher. Well, Fenton was the one that brought him in. But Fletcher would know him pretty, da- pretty damn well, I think. And That's an interesting theory, Adam. Because like Fen- Fenton and Fletcher were pretty tight, I think. And uh, I don't anyway, long story short, I, I, I think a lot of people are like, oh, Nazem Kadri. I have a feeling Nazem Kadri wants to win games and he can look Ka- at the he can look at the Flyers. Kadri conference. and Fiala. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Actually, Whoa. I mean, it'd be way better than what they got. Now, we do know who the uh, the Hart Trophy nominees are. Uh, Matthews, McDavid, Shosturkin. Uh, obviously, uh, definitely there's some teams around the league that feel like their best players were left off that. You know how much I hated not having fans in the building? They announced today or yesterday that Matthews was nominated for the heart. Yep. For the second straight year. Oh. He wasn't not he was nominated last year? That was my question. I had no idea. I had no idea. Hmm. Wow, I didn't know that. Um and then obviously the Ted Lindsay finalists were just announced uh today. This is the NHLPA, so the players voting on this. Yossi Matthews McDavid. I'm telling you, I think McDavid's going to win that one. The Lindsay? I think the players are going to vote him best. Yeah. I think Matthews will win the heart, but I think they're going to vote. I think McDavid. based on I think based on the 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 Ted Lindsay award is literally the best player award according to the players, right? Yeah. I think McDavid should it's hard for him not to win that. Uh Matthews is best player or is most valuable player to their team. I got such a problem with that. I think it's the same damn award. <laughs> Dude, so Jesse has the uh heart voting up from last year. Mm-hmm. Uh, Matthews was not just second in heart voting, he was second by a v- extraordinarily wide margin. Uh McDavid got uh, a hundred Yeah, McDavid was unanimous unanimously selected as the MVP. He received a hundred percent of the votes. But Matthews mm. got sixty nine second place votes. Nice. Nineteen third. Six fourth, um, and four fifth. Uh, this dude was the second best player in the National Hockey League last year, and I don't even remember that he was nominated. Fourth he, in Hart Trophy voting, Sidney Crosby last year. Yeah, he's not disrespected in NHL circles, hmm. but that, remember last year McDavid had that. He had 105 points in 56 games. That's so stupid. Austin had 66. Yeah. That's not what? They're not even in the same oh my galaxy. God. Dude, That's Dry crazy. Saddle had 84. They're on the same team. That's so dumb. That The reason we don't remember Austin Matthews was nominated for the heart is because... It didn't matter. It did not matter <laughs> who was nominated for the heart. It was it was you know, 105 points. Isn't that... I forgot. That's all we do. Mm-hmm. And I did, and he was, he finished second for MVP mm-hmm. and I didn't remember. I had no idea. I, I can tell you that. No I, idea. I can guarantee you that in my malaise after the Leafs, um, Hab series, I, I don't remember much. Mm-hmm. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't if remember you, much. If, if you, if you pointed a gun at me <laughs> before I read that and you were like, Steve, name the three heart nominees from last year. Uh, I'd, I'd, I'd be, be dead. Be shot. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so yeah we'll find out more and more as it goes on i would really nice you know it'd be really nice if they just announced it do we need an nhl award show anymore no so the nba has moved to we just kind of announce it as we go through the playoffs yeah so, like they just they all they'll they announced joker as the uh league mvp just the, like in an instagram post and then they delivered him the the trophy in serbia which is kind of cool, cool but like he, they're not even a, the NBA players aren't even around if they're eliminated from the playoffs. They're not going to an award show, so I think the the NHL can kind of move away from. I think this I, big award show thing. Here's the thing with award shows: the Oscars, the Grammys, the Emmys, the all the other award shows. I think all of them in the last ten years have seen not just a little drop, but a precipitous drop in viewership. So if I can't get somebody to watch the best movies and the best music. The fuck are we watching the NHL awards? How, who are you going to get to watch that? 